Hey, what's up YouTube, your boy Chris. I'm out in the Caliente garage. In this video, I will be using the Lyle Baron Packer 2 that I picked up to repack the Barons on my motorcycle trailer. If you guys pull a motorcycle trailer, you have to repack the Barons every so many thousand miles according to the manufacturer. So I have the trailer wheel hubs removed from my trailer and I'm gonna be installing a new trailer Baron kit, K1-150. I'm gonna be putting in new Barons and new seals. I will be repacking the Barons using the Lyle Baron Packer 2. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I decided to give it a try. I normally would repack the Barons by hand, but I wanted the ability to be able to repack the Barons without going through the hassle of doing it manually. So stay tuned to this video, and I'm gonna demonstrate how to use the Lyle Baron Packer 2. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna let you guys know my final thoughts on the Lyle Baron Packer 2. So let's get started. shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause. In a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. I will include in the description of this video of where you guys can pick up the Lyle Baron Packer 2 34550. And also, I will include a link for the trailer bearing kit that I'm installing on my wheel hubs. So let's open up the Lyle Baron Packer 2. It comes with some instructions. Comes with a dust cap. And the, basically the way the Baron Packer 2 works is that you gotta unscrew the handle. So normally you would take a grease gun and connect it to this fitting and you can pump the grease down into the cup. Since I'm not using a grease gun, I'm gonna be placing some high temp wheel bearing grease over into the Packer cup. And I'm gonna do this manually. I'm gonna be taking a spoon that I use in the garage only. Nice glob of grease. Oh yeah. Set that to the side. So now I can just push the, the piston down to the grease. So the way this is going to work, I'm going to take the bearing, the cone bearing, place it down in the center like so. So what's supposed to happen is supposed to push the grease up and it's supposed to push it up between the bearings. Normally, if you're going to do it manually, you're going to put a glob of grease in your hand and you're going to rotate the bearing around and you're going to keep rotating the bearing around 
and you want to push the grease up between the roller bearings. So with this Lyle, it's supposed to push the grease up for you. I'm going to take the bearing and turn it upside down with the taper side down. No need to screw it. We're just going to force down as we press down. It's going to push the grease up. So I'm going to turn it to the side so you guys could see it. It says place on a flat surface, but I'm just going to do it to the side to kind of give you guys a visual. Make sure that bearing is nice and even. I'm just going to push it and it's going to force It's going to force that grease up to the bearing, lay it on a flat surface and push. So as you can see, it pushed all of the grease in between the rollers and that's exactly what you want. You can see all the little spots where it pushed grease up between the roller. Now I do notice that you have to press down hard. I'm just going to do it again just to make sure I got a good amount of grease. Press down hard. And you can see all the grease pushed up between the rollers. So now I can just take some grease and just roll around the bearing. And that's all it is to it. I'm going to set this to the side. I'm going to open up the. And these were the bearings that actually came out of the. The wheel hubs, I cleaned them up. They actually look pretty good. L44649 part number. The seals are still reusable, but I decided to just replace the used bearings and the seals with the trailer bearing kit K1-150. So let's get this opened up. Inside of the kit, they give you inside of the kit, they give you new seals. new bearings and it actually comes with uh, a race so so the thing I like about the Lyle bearing packer tool is now I can repack the bearings without having to do it manually so they even gave you new races with the with the barons and it also came with the carter pin and this is kit k1-150 i will include a link in the description for the trailer bearing kit that's one thing about doing bearings is that it's a very messy job
And that's pretty neat. Look at that. Pushed all of the grease all between the rollers. And so now I can take a little bit of grease. And go around the outside of the barren. Now I can take my wheel hook. And these barons are the same on both sides. I've already inspected the races, so there's no need for me to install the race that came in a kit, but it does give you the races in case your existing race is uh, damaged. I'm going to just drop it in like so. I can take the wheel seal that came in the kit, the hub seal that came in that kit. And I'm just going to hammer it down. So now that I have the inner baron and inner sealed installed, now I can grease the front barons. These are the race. So I have two new barons and I'm going to save the race, the races. The races that are currently in the wheel hubs are already good, so I don't have to change those out. So now we're going to take that new bearing. We're going to place it taper side down, sit it directly in the center. I'm going to push down. It's a lot of force, but I'm going to push down. That's going to force the grease up through the rolling barrier. As you can see, it pushed that grease between the rollers. I know some of you guys out there that have trailers, you probably never took the time out to grease your bearings. Well, if you don't grease them, at some point it's going to put you down. So now that I have those front bearings greased, we can do this last bearing. Sit it with the taper side down. Take the piston. Push down on the piston. Voila. Let's go around the outside of that bearing. All the way around. So I think that's a lot easier than having to manually grease those bearings. Now I can just drop it in. Like so. And now I'm ready to install the wheel hubs back on the trailer spindles. So before I put the wheel hub back on, I'm going to add some grease to the spindle. It'll make it easier for the, the bearing to slide down the spindle. So add some grease. I'm 
Now I can take the wheel hook press it down the spindle now I can take the washer the flat side of the washer push that down to that outer bearing I'm going to take my castle nut Now I can take my my tool and I'm just going to tighten that castle nut down to the outer bearing. Just going to tighten it down and then I'm going to back off quarter of a turn. Spin this a little bit more. Tighten it back down. Back off quarter of a turn. Place my carter pin through the spindle. I'm going to just bend that carter pin all the way over. And now I can add some grease to my dust to my dust cap. Now I can clean off any excess grease. And this is how you grease the bearings on a trailer. This is going to conclude the video of the Lyle Baron Packer 2 that I picked up. I will include a link in the description of this video or where you guys could pick up the Lyle Baron Packer 2 part number 34550. My final thoughts about the Lyle Baron Packer 2 is that I should have purchased this a long time ago. Uh, this makes it so much easier to pack your bearings. You don't have to worry about taking your bearings and manually forcing the grease in between the roller bearings. The Lyle Baron Packer 2 makes it effortless. So in my opinion, I think that every motorcycle owner or every shop needs a Baron Packer 2 for repacking the bearings, whether it's on a boat or automobile or a motorcycle trailer. If you have to repack bearings instead of doing it manually, the Lyle Baron Packer 2 makes it effortless. So in my opinion, this Lyle passed with flying colors. If you guys have any questions or any comments, feel free to put it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is your boy Chris. And I was demonstrating how to use the Lyle Baron Packer 2 and how to install the wheel hubs on a motorcycle trailer. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya.